Will 8000 Mega Transfers RAM work natively on the new Gigabyte X870E Aorus Master motherboard? I honestly don't know, and we're gonna have to find out because DDR5 has been going through a bit of a evolution since it first came out. And now the 800 series motherboards, specifically this X870E by Gigabyte, is really meant for fast RAM for Ryzen 9000. So ideally, it should be plug and play, and we should get some great performance with the way Infinity Fabric works and all that stuff. So we'll see. Hit that follow button, and we're gonna go into all the features of this Gigabyte X870E Aorus Master motherboard. Now, many of you know, but my motherboard reviews, we tend to take the board out first to see what else is included. So what's underneath here? We have some stickers. I like stickers. A fancy metallic sticker. Okay, paper. What's over here? This is a temperature sensor, so you just plug it into your motherboard and it'll tell you the temperature of the internals of certain parts of your PC. Gigabyte included a couple of these. Nice. A very ugly sound cable. So this is going to tell you how loud the internals are of your PC. SATA cables. I don't really ever use these because now I'm all NVMe drives unless I'm building a NAS or something with spinning rust. Velcro to help your cable management needs. And in this section, ooh, even more, we have our new style of the Wi-Fi 7 antenna. This is just plug and play. I love that this is just push it in and there you go. No more spinning endlessly to get your antennas, you know, screwed in. Everyone loves their G connector. Basically all those small cables coming from your PC case, you plug them into this and this plugs directly into the motherboard. Making it easier, it's still annoying. And a nifty little tiny fan, and I'm afraid that this is probably gonna be kind of loud. You really only need this if you're gonna be doing some, you know, overclocking on your RAM and I don't know, if you may be doing something wrong if you find you actually need this or you're just doing some enhanced overclocking. I like the trend that Gigabyte is doing these days, adding this ultra durable PCIe armor. It's basically giving it extra support so that your heavy GPUs aren't gonna crack your motherboard. Now I have mixed feelings on the IO. So things that I like, we have the CMOS button and the Q flash to make it easier for you to you know, fix your wrongs. Plenty of USB type A, so these are 3.2, so plenty of speed here. Your HDMI, yes, and of course the red ones add for additional power in case you wanna power some devices. Then with this X870E line, you have USB 4.0, 40 gigabit per second speeds. So you're gonna be able to plug displays in here, daisy chain things, it's really, really nice. Then we have more USB type 3.2s, USB type A's. 5 gig ethernet. Now, I really do wish that the master line had 10 gig ethernet. That's what I love. I have a 10 gig network. I think it's a missed opportunity for a board this high end to only have 5 gig, but obviously 5 gig is much faster than what most people have for the internet service. It's more about the internal network for your house. I love this new Wi-Fi 7 plug that they're doing right here. And of course your audio on the side. The Gigabyte Aorus Master gives you plenty of connectivity for most people's needs, whether you're a gamer or into content creation. I do like the options that they've included on this motherboard. Plus with these heavy GPUs, they have a nice button right here so you can just eject your GPU. Now this is a very robust cooler for your PCIe 5.0 NVMe drives, which will generate a lot of heat hence the very large cooler. So stay tuned for a lot of videos on that. I always love to see indicators here. They'll tell you the temperature of your CPU as well as any error codes that you may experience. Here's the power button, reset button, more ARGB, of course, fan control hubs right here. And this is gonna be something very interesting we're gonna try out, the DDR5 RAM. How fast can we make this go natively? Overall, the Gigabyte X870E Aorus Master motherboard looks very impressive plenty of options that will be more than enough for most gamers and content creators and i can't wait to get into the thorough testing so stay tuned for those videos so will 8000 mega transfers ram be plug and play on the gigabyte x870e aorus master motherboard it's a mouthful but stay tuned hit the follow button and we'll find out together